Hi, I'm lawyer Jessica Bornick, and welcome to Legal Juice, a vlog of legal information, education, and entertainment. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what probate is and when you will need to get a grant of probate in an estate. First things first, a disclaimer. Although I am a lawyer, I am not your lawyer. Should you require legal advice, please seek the assistance of a lawyer licensed to practice where you are. Do not rely on anything you see in this video as legal advice and do not delay in seeking legal advice based on anything you've heard in this video. And if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Now join me. Before we jump into when a grant of probate is needed, we must first define what probate is. A grant of probate or probate is simply a court order that approves the appointment of an executor named in a will, authorizes that executor to legally act on behalf of the deceased, and confirms the validity of the will as the last known will and testament of the deceased. If the deceased did not have a will, then the order sought is called a grant of administration here in Alberta. Other jurisdictions may call it letters of administration or grant of letters of administration. In this situation, the court will prove the appointment of typically a relative of the deceased and authorize that person to legally act on behalf of and deal with the estate of the deceased. So now that we know what probate is, we can begin with the first instance that probate will absolutely be required. And that occurs when you're dealing with real estate. If the deceased owned real estate solely, meaning in his or her own name, not with a joint owner, then a grant of probate is required to allow the executor named in the will to deal with, sell, transfer, or transmit that property. The land titles office or land registry will not allow real property to be transmitted nor transferred without a grant of probate or a grant of administration. So there's no way to get around that requirement after the owner has died. The second instance where probate will absolutely be required by the executor involves what is known as the golden rule. Now, banks follow very closely the golden rule being, he who has the gold makes the rules. If the deceased held a large amount of assets in a bank account in his or her name solely, meaning not jointly with another person, then the bank will require the executor to obtain a grant of probate or a grant of administration to deal with that deceased's funds. Each bank is different. The threshold value of funds held by the bank varies from bank to bank and sometimes from branch to branch. I have seen probate requested by a bank for an account with as little as $2,400 in it and another bank not request probate for accounts less than 50,000. Now that being said, over the past few years, the banks began requesting a grant of probate for accounts which are owned jointly by an adult parent with one or more of that parent's adult children. Now, in law, joint ownership has a special right of survivorship, meaning whoever survives the longest owns the entire asset. Because of this special right, many people use joint ownership to negate the requirement of probate or probate proof in a state. Now, this tactic, however, is causing more problems for executors because some adult children keep the entire bank account as their own on the death of mom and dad and insist that account was uh, intended to be a gift to them rather than to be divided amongst the beneficiaries. This has resulted in an increase of litigation among siblings and has clogged up our court system. The problem has gotten so bad that in June of 2022, the laws were changed here in Alberta to require all jointly held assets to be disclosed in all applications for a grant of probate or administration. So what can be done to avoid probate? Well, despite the aforementioned, there are still ways to probate proof an estate. Adding joint owners to real estate will negate the requirement for probate when dealing with real estate. Adding all children or none of the children to an account may work to negate the bank from requiring probate, but only if some form of indemnity agreement and or release is negotiated between the bank and all of the beneficiaries. If you want to know more about how to probate proof an estate, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of my upcoming video on tips and tricks to probate proof an estate. Thanks for watching.